So I wanted to do a quick video on mineral fluctuations when you're doing fasting because it's always a concern. Am I going to deplete my mineral reserve, uh, especially if you're not taking uh, electrolytes uh, or other minerals like trace minerals. So um, let's go ahead and cover it on an average fast, let's say 72 hours. So if you look at sodium and we're talking about blood values, okay, it goes from 138 to 136. So a slight decrease. Potassium. 4.6 to 4.3, a slight decrease. Magnesium, 1.7 to 1.6, a very slight little dip there. Then we have calcium, 10.3 to 9.1. Again, just a small amount. Phosphorus, 3.6 to 3.0. Zinc, check this out, 104, it goes up to 117. This is interesting. Why would zinc go up when you're doing a fast, okay? Well, you're not eating anything, supposedly, but what happens is your body releases from the reserve a lot of zinc. It goes up by 3.5 times, okay? And why would that be? Because your body actually needs zinc to make certain enzymes as a part of the antioxidant network that's involved with uh, defending the body against pathogens, also in the repair action. So that's why it goes up. And the other thing that's very interesting is that uric acid goes from 4.5 to 26 to 41, and then back down to 3.5. So we get this massive spike of uric acid. Now, why would that be? Well, a lot of people are associated uric acid with gout and uric acid kidney stones. So it's a real negative thing. But in reality, uric acid is a very powerful antioxidant. And this is why it spikes, because it's part of the body's defense mechanism to clear out stuff or kill certain things. But you'll see that it actually comes down. It's a temporary spike. If someone is prone to gout or kidney stones, there's a couple things that they can do. Consume lemon juice in their water when they drink it. That would be beneficial. Also, potassium would be beneficial as an electrolyte. And if you have a bigger problem, another product that I would recommend is called hydroxycitrate. That's the most powerful remedy that I know to counteract kidney stones because it actually dissolves the crystals in both oxalate stones and uric acid stones. Okay. All right. There you have it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I want to introduce you to my new Dr. Berg app. It's right here. It's, I'm really excited about it. You need to download it. It's free. It has a lot of great data. It has all my videos. It's updated on a regular basis. I also have the audio version of the videos, audio episodes. I also have a mini course that you can take. I also have a button for new content so you can really know of all the, the recent content that I'm downloading. And I also have something called PDF resources, which gives you additional cool little one page uh, PDF documents on all sorts of health things. So download it, check it out and tell me what you think about it. And don't forget to give me a review. It's Dr. Berg app.